Oh boy, it is early. Check it out, huh? Just got a little cooler all the way from the basement. August 7th, Saturday. I think I slept one and a half hour tonight. Things that we do for fishing, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, let me put this little cooler over here. I'm just waiting for my friend Dave, AKA Simplex Fishing. We're going to go to the jetty today, do some salt water fishing. He should be here in about five to 10 minutes now, as you guys can see. Oh, he just gave him a call, one moment. Hey, what's up, bro? Good morning. Twelve minutes away? Five, five. Oh, five minutes away. Very beautiful, bro. Yeah, I'm pretty much ready. Ready to go is lay on the jetty, man. Alright, I'm about to... I think I'm on the... I'm the field block right now, so... Yeah, whenever you're ready. Alright, sounds good, bro. I'll see you outside in a little bit. Alrighty, bro. Alright, the Tao Talk better get ready, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> alright, dude. I'll see you soon, alright? All right, okay, bye-bye. All right, man. Yeah, as you guys can see, I'm definitely not making this up, right? It is 5.11 a.m. right now. Like I said, we're going to go to the jetty today in New Jersey. Uh, hopefully, we're going to catch some fish for dinner. That is the main goal for today. We are going to be hitting the Tautog, the Tautoga onitis right uh i heard that there are some atlantic spanish mackerel down in new jersey right now too not sure if we're going to c come upon those but anything may happen today so let me gather my stuff over here real quick and i guess i'll see you guys on the jetty in about two hours not a bad drive down here to the shore not bad at all we left like what 5 a.m 5.15. 5.15. So now it's like 7 a.m. We just got down here. Barnegat area. And check it out, huh? We're going to do something quite unusual here. That's why David is putting the waders on over here. I think back in the days we always used to use those disgusting green crabs for Tau Tog. Now, mind you, I say disgusting, not because of how they look, but after you touch them, uh, your hands kind of get slippery, a very weird feeling. So today we're going to use the little rake over here and do it just like some other YouTubers have done here on the platform. Try to get some sand fleas. Dave is actually going to do most of the hard work. I'm just going to get the sand fleas and put it inside the bait bucket. So, hey, hopefully we're going to get some. Let's go. Man, it is a beautiful morning here at Barnegat. Check this out, ladies and gentlemen. These houses probably cost a lot of money. We're talking like millions of dollars right over here. But wow, it is looking really good out here. And Dave told me that he came here last week uh, he did some raking over here for the sand fleas and this area was very productive he's ahead of me right now getting ready to put some work in full waiter mode hopefully we're going to get i don't know maybe like one bucket of sand fleas so that we can just hop to the jetty and target the tau tog season right now is one tau tog a day right the tau toga onitis at 15 inches all right Let's get cranking. You got it already? It, bro? Yeah. bro, I didn't even see anything. Oh, I got it. Oh, we got oh I got nice it. One, bro. We got some oh, yes, one. dude. I got it. I got it. Right? Yeah, yeah. You scoop, I sort, my dude. Don't worry about it. Check this out, guys. These are the ones that we're using today. First scoop. Look at how light. Dude, look at the size of this one. Jumbo right over here. Look at that. So we're just going to get these little ones here. <laughs> Oh yeah, dude. I gotta sort. Don't worry about it. Just put it over here. Here we go. Here we go. They they dig really fast, bro. They. Wow, dude. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, yeah there's some jumbos in here, bro. There's some jumbos. There's some. Look at that. Yes, that's what Holy we need. Holy moly! Hey, there's some more that's trying to get out here. Here, you wanna 
sort these out. Yeah, yeah, I'll sort this out. Oh yeah, check that out, huh? All this yummy Tao Tog bait right over here. We definitely got some jumbos in the mix too. Look at the size of this one in particular over here. Very hard to handle, but we're gonna do this just for a little bit more until we have some more bait so that we can use for the entire day. And then we're just gonna hop to the jetty and get this lane started. Remember, all you need is a rake. I'm gonna put it in the description of the video so that you guys can get one if you want to and attempt to do it. And that it's free bait, maybe for the rest of our life, right? As far as sand fleas are around the area. Ladies and gentlemen, we just got here to the jetty, ready to do some tog fishing. And let me tell you, when it comes to this craft, there is really no secret. I am not going to teach you guys how to do it in this video. If you guys want, you can refer to some of my older videos, right? Where I do a few tutorials here and there on how exactly to target Tau Tog. That being said, it is the first time on this channel that I am actually going to be using sand fleas as bait for these guys, right? So let me just quickly show you guys the setup, the gear that I'm using for today, right? The technique itself is not really that different. We will just hit all the different deep holes out there. But in terms of hooking these little guys, I like to just hook through the back of it. So just puncture the shell and just circle around all the way to the top, just like that, to cover my hook as much as possible. You can even squeeze it a little bit so that the guts come out a little bit so that it really attracts the fish down there. Right now in New Jersey, Tau Tog is one fish at 15 inches. So please, if you come down here to New Jersey to fish, please make absolutely sure to measure your Tau Tog. And if you do catch shorts, right, please catch photo release, right? Because nobody in the community likes a poacher. That being said, <laughs> that being said it is more fun when you do catch your keeper. You feel that sense of accomplishment and hopefully that is going to happen in this video today. Oh yeah. Ah, oh, it's a little bergal, bro. Ah, my first species of the day is not necessarily the Tau Tog, but actually a little bergal, the Tau Togolabrus adspersus. It is a beautiful species of ras that lives in the rocks of New Jersey. But that being said, I mean, not exactly what we're looking for. Wow, man, the Bergal got powerful teeth then, man. They can take the, the, the sand flea with no problem at all. Yeah, the thing is like, yeah, they'll just nibble at it. So there's probably a million of them down exactly. there. Exactly. Probably a million of them down there. Once you find that hole with the tog in it, you know it's a tog, right? Right, exactly. Guy's gonna risk it all, man. Got more sinkers anyways. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, dude. If there, if there's a Tau Tog, bro, yeah, Bergal. A lot of little Bergal out there today. Oh, wait a moment. Oh no, look at that. It's a baby Tog. It is our target species, but let me wet my hands here real quick for this one. But it's our target species. But my man, it is definitely not the one that we want. Look at that. All right, let's take a photo of baby Tog. Now, isn't that cute? It's like the sunfish of the sea right over here. Little Tau Tog. Of course, the Dink Master comes all the way here to New Jersey. And, you know, got to catch some Dinks before the true big one shows up. There we go. Freaking, freaking God's neck, but there's a fish on here. Easy, easy, easy now. Easy, Tog, easy. There we go. It's out. It's out, boy. It's out. Yeah, sometimes the Tog will pull it to the hole. 
Yeah, no, no, this is, oh my goodness, bro. Yay, yeah, son. Not a keeper, but, no? Getting there, getting there. Get there. Look at that, gotta wet my hands real quick. Ah. So this right here, I don't think it's 15 inches, but look at that, huh? That's a, definitely a beautiful sample over here. All right, got to be careful with the fins of the tog. Ah, if it was just a tad bigger than that, 15 inches, that would be good. How big do you think that one was? 12? Oh, not bad. <laughs> yeah, 12, right? bite is almost instantaneous as soon as it drops to the bottom you feel the taps already very snaggy area starts with the bergal and if there's a tog around you will feel a heavy thump set the hook the thing is all dinks so far oh that was a tog <laughs> and my bait may be gone yep just like that i think my bait's gone oh i'm snagged i'm out and that's it. That's how tog fishing is done. Look at that. Look at that. 100% gone. All right, the hole is right there. Sooner or later, folks. Sooner or later. Oh, oh, dude. Oh, dude. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, boy. Oh, yeah. Dude, that, I don't know, I don't know, man, that's a, that's a, dude, dude, what is this, bro? Dude, yeah, dude. Whoa, I, we gotta be careful with this one. Don't let it run into the rock. Yeah, you never know, bro. Sometimes you'll find a little sheep's head over here. Dude. Yeah, this one's gonna take it easy, bro. I'm not so sure. That this, 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 this doesn't feel like a tog, bro. Do you see it? Do you see it on the left side? It surfaced a little bit. I don't want to pull it too heavy. Oh, dude. Dude, what is it? I trigger fish. Trigger fish. Nice trigger. Holy smokes. Look at that. Shh, dude, that's a nice trigger, bro. Nice trigger. Uh, I'll just risk it and then if I lose it I lose it yeah I'm gonna risk it but because you know I mean 30 pounds but the hook is a size 6 mustad I mean it's a nice trigger but let me let me see what I can do yeah dude yeah that's decent that's recent yeah all right, we're gonna risk it, folks. If uh, if it goes, it goes. If we land it, we land it. That's it. One, two, three. Oh, dude. There you go. There we go, bro. Yeah, hell yeah, bro. It's crazy. Dude, look at the size. Oh, look at the size of this trigger, bro. Woohoo! Yeah. Yeah. Some type of like. Dude, that's what I'm talking about. Yo. That's what I'm talking about, bro. Oh, New Jersey trigger fish. Yo, can you pick them up? Holy Ballistis God. Capriscus, bro. Oh my God. Look at that. One of the biggest trigger fish I've ever seen. Eh? Oh my God, bro. Chunky, bro. Nice, bro. Thank nice, you. Nice. I appreciate it, bro. Nice. I'm actually going to kill this guy very soon because it is going to be dinner. But I just wanted to show you guys it was such an intense and powerful fight. Let me tell you, the great trigger fish, the Ballistis Capriscus, is definitely not a species to be underestimated. Holy moly, I don't know how big this one is, but look at that. Look how beautiful this particular sample is. New Jersey gray trigger fish, right? And this is going to be very good meat. I'm going to kill it off camera now, cook it later. But for now, back to the fishing. It's still looking for that keeper. 
Tao Tog, stay tuned. It should happen. Hopefully it is going to happen. But I tell you what, the way that you taught me how to hook this stuff is really good. Yeah, hide that hook, it's one, one suck, you know what I'm saying? Wow, dude. One cat, one suck. Exactly. Exactly. If you hook it wrong, very easily they're just gonna get it and no hook set, you know? Ah, dog. Oh, 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 dude. <laughs> yeah, this is no Bergal bite, bro. I think it's a tog. Have to be fast so the tog doesn't go into the, the, the rocks and the hole out there. But at the same time, you gotta give it time for it to eat. Yeah, it's a tog. There we go. Tiny one, not 15 inches. Good thing is that I can just wet my hands over here. My sand fleas are running away here at the rock. Got to be careful with the tog too because it does have some spines at the dorsal fin. At the same time, obviously, you do not want to keep this fish outside of the water for too long. Years of expertise and my hands are still slippery from all the sand fleas. This is not good, there we go. Finally got a grip on the fella. All right, there we have it. Another towel tog for today. Back it goes, no keepers yet. And my sand fleas are trying to run away over here. Need to keep collecting them and use the live ones first. Bergal, I think it's Bergal, all Bergal. Tiny, tiny hits, still Bergal. There's not Bergal. Little towel tog maybe. Oh no, I'm snagged on the rock down there. Oh, I'm out, I'm out. What is that? Yes, it's a black sea bass, son. Another species for today, black sea bass. <laughs> Centropristis istriata on the sand sun on the sand flea this is my first time ever many of the species that i'm actually catching in this video today are my first ones of the year and i believe that this black sea bass is included in it as well this is the thing about new jersey salt water that makes it so much fun just throwing some bait out there in the rock cracks you really don't know you never know what is going to show up Oh, Dave just switched to the fluking setup. He's trying to catch that elusive 18 inches <laughs> keeper. All right, let's see what he got over here. Decent? Oh yeah, I mean, not bad. For a first one of the day, you know? Well, okay, that, uh, it turned out to be a little bit smaller than usual, but... <laughs> But they're here. They're here, they're here, that's good. Absolutely. Summer flounder, Paralictis dentatus. I think I'm gonna save the photo for when you, you catch a bigger one. I'm confident that you will do it. Okay. You're like the fluke master, bro. Not the YouTuber, but... <laughs> <laughs> I got it. The saltwater fluke master. Oh, nice yeah, nice little dude. Nice oh, oh yeah, there it goes. One flat fish down. Ah, ladies and gentlemen, oh, what a beautiful day of hitting juicy holes the whole morning and the whole afternoon, huh? I mean, we may not have caught that Tao Tog keeper today. We caught a few 12 inches, as you guys saw in this video, right? That was really the biggest size of the day. However, I have to say, there's just something. Ooh, Dave hooked the fish. Let's go check it out. Oh man, I was just shooting the outro, bro. Telling people oh, how it was a wiki. It was a wiki. Dude, go back to it. Yeah. Go back to it. I will reshoot it. 
Ah, oh, ladies and gentlemen, what a beautiful day of hitting juicy holes all morning and afternoon here at the inlet, huh? We may not have caught our target keeper Tautog, however, we did land a few 12 inches as you guys saw in this video. That was really the biggest size of the day. And I tell you what, I am taking a few fish home back home for dinner too, right? Some fresh meat. So, albeit the Tautog didn't show up, I would say that for the objective of the day, we definitely accomplished it. We did a day of multi species down here at the Jersey Shore a saltwater video that you guys requested me to do, right? It has been a long time since I've brought a saltwater fishing video on the YouTube channel. And we got some dinner as well. I would like to give a big shout out to my friend David Ho, AKA Simplex Fishing as well, for showing me how to do the sand fleas, right? And use them and how to rig them to actually catch the fish. Let me tell you, that is just something about what we did today that is like very special this type of day you see what i'm saying you go out there and you catch your own bait you know we went raking and we got the sand fleas and then you use your own bait to catch some fish and then you take that fish back home dinner and after you eat it it is going to become a part of you i don't want to sound too philosophical but you get the idea right free bait free fish free food kind of free because you do have to get the fishing licenses but you get the idea i hope you guys enjoyed this video i will bring more videos on the channel more salt water fishing videos as well but for now i am fatigued i am very tired i slept only one and a half hour yesterday to today so it is really time to go home cook those fish eat it with some rice and salad and replenish myself so Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoy it. Tight lines. And I'll see you all next time. Oh, fish on, son. Burgal on the EPF swim. The only dude who's ever going to come here and throw... <laughs> Look at that, top of the mouth, EPF swim, Tautogolabrus Atspersus, aka the Bergal. I don't think anyone has ever done something like this here in New Jersey, seriously, you know? Only, only extreme Philly fishing. All right, throw this back here, boom!